What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to use the Xbox Game Bar so that you can record your screen using Windows 10. Now, I couldn't record my actual Game Bar screen, so like when I open it up, um, I couldn't record all this stuff on my actual computer, so I'm using my camera to record it. So if you're having trouble seeing, I'm sorry about that. But I got to put my camera up to the laptop screen so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, if you got any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Uh, before we get into it though, if you're new to Supreme Tech, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. Also, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I come out with brand new content. Also, feel free to check out my Amazon storefront in the links below. I also have a link for IP Vanish VPN, and I'm going to throw in some other products for you guys to try out if you feel like grabbing them. So, with all that said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so Xbox Game Bar is a great way to record your screen on your Windows 10 computer. What I like about it is it is combined with your Xbox and your computer. So all your gallery of all your captures and screenshots, you can access them right on your Xbox also. So that's one thing that's great about this program. Uh, but first things first, let's show you how to open it up. Um, on your Windows computer, there's three ways to get to this. First thing, you just hold down the Windows button and click G and it should pop up if it doesn't come down here to your start button click on it come all the way down to xbox game bar it's right here um, if you still can't find it just type it into the search bar here at the bottom just type in xbox game bar and it should pop up if it still doesn't pop up then try updating your system because if you're running an older version of windows 10 it might not have it so just update it and you should be good to go. Um, but let's open it up here. Uh, first thing I'm going to go over is the widgets. Um, you get to the widget menu by clicking right here. Okay. Um, everything with the star next to it is going to have its own button up here at the top. And you can take them off by clicking the star button again. So we're just going to take everything off it real quick. And it just looks like that. It only has the stuff that we have open. If we close them, it just looks like this. Um, so what I recommend doing is definitely have audio starred, capture, gallery, performance. Okay, Those four are the main ones that I recommend doing. And then you can see here, if you click on it, it'll have a green line underneath it or whichever color you have your background as. And then it'll have a pop-up. Okay everything with a pop-up has a green line right so I just like to get all the ones that I have um, all popped up let's move their audio over here you can also shrink them or make them bigger if you want however you want to do it I like my setup to look like this here okay we got our gallery which is gonna have all of our captures and screenshots we got the capture tab where you can click the record button um, and the screenshot button let's just take a screenshot show you how it works okay says screenshot saved and then it'll pop up here this is the same for captures again um, you can also come down here and directly share it to twitter create a meme open file location or delete um, also from this tab you can turn your mic off while you're recording um, because if you record right now, it's going to use your microphone and record your voice. So if you don't want your voice recorded, make sure this is turned off. After the capture tab, we're going to go down to the audio tab. And this is where you can mess with the sounds, um, how loud you want certain things. As you can see here, we got the game bar, OBS, resolve, system sounds, and our speakers and headphones. They also got a voice tab where you can mess with your microphone. Um, performance is right here. Okay, This just tells you your CPU, GPU, VRAM, and RAM 
um, usage. You can see if you're running too much, um, if you got to close down other programs or something. Um, but that's why I like having this one. Other than that, guys, we're going to go up to the settings, which is this one here. Okay. It's got the settings gear. We just click on it. And from here, you can also go to edit more preferences and Windows settings. Um, I'm going to show you that in a second. But after general, you got accounts. This is where you can link your Twitter, Spotify, and your Xbox Live. Also Facebook and all this other stuff. Um, after that, we got the widget menu. I'm not going to mess with this. Uh, shortcuts. This is for your hotkeys. Um, if you don't want it to be Windows G to open up Game Bar, you can change it. Same with uh, take a screenshot and record the last 30 seconds. Um, I just leave it as is, but you can customize it however you want. After that, we got personalization. You can change the theme, the transparency of the widgets, um, the widget positions, and a couple other things down here. After that, we're going to go to capturing. Okay, This is where you can record the, in the background while you're playing a game. Show microphone recording notifications. Um, you can do a game and enabled mic. Um, you can do all. This is all your system sounds and everything. Um, or you can do none. After that, you got game features and feedback. Let's come all the way up to the general again. And I'm going to show you where you click edit more preferences and Windows settings. Um, this is where you can change where your screenshots and game clips are saved to. So if you want them in a different folder, you just click this and set up a different folder. Um, you also got background recording. You can change your recording length. Um, I just clicked two hours. I'm never going to record longer than two hours, but if you stream, you might want to do four. Um, this next one's pretty important. If you guys have something besides 192, then go ahead and just change it to 192. You want the highest audio quality you can get. Um, why not put it on the highest, right? Um, then you can change your volume and after the volume is the frame rate. This is very, very important. If you're recording at 60 FPS or playing at 60 FPS, make sure you change this to 60. Um, I'm just leaving it on 30 right now. Um, and then after that, you got high or standard quality. I just choose high. And that about does it for these. So let's move on to game mode. It's just got some other things you can mess with and Xbox and networking. Now that we got the settings down, let's go ahead and show you how to record. So let's close this out. Let's click Windows G to open up game bar again. And we got it opened up. Um, one thing I forgot to tell you is you see how I can't click the record button here. It says gaming features aren't available for the Windows desktop or file explorer. So you can't record the screen if you're just recording your desktop. That's why I had to use my camera to record my um, laptop screen, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna open up a internet window and click Windows G again. And you can see now I can click the record button. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click it. And once you do, another pop-up will come here that says game status. You see right here. Um, this is where you click stop. Okay. So you just leave this. I put it in the top right corner usually. And then I'll just record. And then once I'm done recording, I'll just click Windows G again to pop this up and click stop. So let's just show you how it records. Let's go to my channel. Okay. And I'm just, you know, recording what's on my screen. Click videos. Scroll down a little bit. Right. Now that we got this, let's hit Windows G again to pull up our game bar. And we're going to click stop. Once you click stop, it's going to say game clip is recorded. And you can see here, I got it. Um, I'm going to click play just so you can see it worked. And once you do, another pop-up will come.
come here that says games. So there you go. You see it recorded my voice and everything. Um, if you don't want it recording your voice again, just click this and it won't record your microphone. It'll just record everything in your system. So that's pretty much it guys. I don't think there's really too much else to break down on this. Um, but overall guys, I really love this program. Comment down below if you guys need any help or tips or tricks. Be sure to get back to you or other people that are on the comment section. You know, they answer a lot of questions before I even get to it. So you never know who's, you know, looking at the comments. They might answer your question before I even get to it. Um, with all that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped you out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Feel free to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.